Welcome back to Python programming. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss the first topic that is entering expression into interactive shell. Uh, you know what is interactive shell? You know, we are using uh, different compilers such as IDLE, PyCharm, uh, then uh, Google Colab, fine. Uh, then uh, Jupyter Notebook. Uh, whenever, as soon as we open those compiler, we can have a space to write the program. I think it's correct. Okay, so that particular area is generally known as interactive shell. So entering the expression into interactive shell such as Python's interactive shell allow you to perform uh, different operations such as calculations, then evaluate expressions and uh, display the name and you can uh, type, your, type the particular string and you can display the string, fine. So uh, Python's interactive shells allow you to perform uh, so many type of calculations, then you can evaluate the expressions you can uh, work with the data and as well as variables, fine. So uh, you can use these uh, uh, platforms for conducting the experiment and uh, get the test idea and to get the particular uh, output. Just like uh, in MATLAB, uh, you'll be using like a comment window, fine. Same that of we have the platform like uh, uh, we can say about the Python's interactive shell. So for example, as soon as you open any of, here I'm showing you the Jupyter Notebook. Here you can op perform different operations like uh, calculation, it will act as a calculator. If you want, you can display the string. There is one string you can see that. Then if you press the afterwards, you can go for run, you will be getting the uh, string, string will be displayed. Afterwards, you can uh, general program, print hello world. It's a common type of program. Wherever uh, you will be starting with the Python, we'll be displaying this. Okay, so uh, I'll be showing you, if you want, I will be showing you live uh, how to type and how to where is a uh, uh, like a uh, interactive shell fine so double click uh, the particular icon uh, then we can go for a new program so what you can do is go to new uh, then click on python 3 fine so just wait for a while i'll be showing you what is an interactive shell so as soon as you open this this is actually called an interactive shell i think it's clear to everybody here you will be typing the program. So let us type print. Welcome to Python programming. Welcome to Python programming. Fine. So I just type. Later I will be running this. Okay. You can see the string. Welcome to Python programming. So I will be performing the operation. So I'm going to perform multiplication operations. See, let me go for run. So I'm going to perform the division. So we can observe. Then let me go for run. So like that, you can see perform n number of operations. Clear? This is basically interactive shell where you can perform a different operation. See, this is generally called as interactive shell. Okay, interactive interactive shell interactive shell of python clear where we'll be performing the program so uh, in the coming session i'll be dealing with the data type thank you for watching this video